in this session i'll be going to explain smith chart and how to solve examples of smith chart so here we can see this is a smith chart where first we need to understand what is the meaning of this circles which is there in this smith chart so in this smith chart there are basically two types of circles one is you can observe this circles so these circles are real circles so that gives idea about the real value of impedance which is there with this smith chart and second is these circles so these are imaginary circles so imaginary circles are having basically two category positive imaginary and negative imaginary positive imaginary circles that lies above this horizontal line so positive imaginary circles that is there above this horizontal line and negative imaginary circles that that is there below this horizontal line so this is how these circles are there now what are the other things which we need to keep it in our mind so in this smith chart at this position we have value of v max and z max and at this side we have a value of v min and z min so when we solve microwave circuits we have standing pattern so that is what resulting into v max and v min so v max that is there on this side of this smith chart and v min that is there on this side of smith chart so v min and z min that lies over here and v max and z max that lies in this direction now if we see lower part of this smith chart then in that here these are the scales which gives idea about what is the value of vswr so this first horizontal line that is giving idea about value of vswr and this third line that is giving idea about value of reflection coefficient so this is how this smith chart is there now when we look impedance then from load sometimes we move towards generator and sometimes from generator we move towards low so when we move towards the generator from load we need to move in clockwise direction so this is what towards the generator so for that we need to move it in clockwise direction and when we move towards the load at that time we need to move in anti clockwise direction so towards the load we need to move in anti clockwise direction so when we move from load we need to move it towards the generator and when we move from generator we need to move towards the load so for towards the generator we need to move in clockwise direction and for towards the load we need to move it in anti clockwise direction now to understand this let us solve one basic problem so that we can have proper idea like what is that which we need to do so here let us consider one problem now see in this problem we have characteristic impedance that is z0 load impedance that is z so characteristic impedance is 50 load impedance is 5 plus j25 and length of transmission line that is 0.1 lambda so by using this there could be so many parameters which we can solve by using smith chart so let us solve those parameters then we can understand what is the use of this smith chart so as it have been discussed in this problem z0 that is 50 ohm and zl that is 5 plus 
J25. So, in Smith chart we need to plot impedance, but that should be normalized impedance. So, normalized value of ZL that is actual value of ZL divided by ZZ. So, 5 plus J25 divided by 50. So, that will be 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.5. So, when we plot ZL value on this mid chart, real part of that should be 0 0.1 and imaginary part that should be positive 0 0.5. So, here to plot that we need to understand real part should be 0 0.1. So, these are real circles. Now, where this real circle is having 0 0.1 value with this circle and imaginary positive imaginary circles are this. So, where 0 0.5 positive imaginary that is this circle. So, this real 0 0.1 and imaginary positive 0 0.5 that is intersecting at this position. So, it intersect at this position. So, we can say value of ZL at this point is 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.5. So, that is how we can plot a point ZL on this mid chart. Now, by using this point, we can have uh, VSWR circle. So, that will be a circle which is what we need to plot with respect to center. So, right now we will be plotting VSWR circle. Now, you can see center that is over here and we are stressing circle with respect to this ZL. So, this is what a circle which is VSWR circle. So, you can say now this circle which is what we have traced that is V S W R circle. Now, to understand how to calculate V S W R, we need to consider a V S W R circle intersecting to horizontal line. So, horizontal line is this. So, here it intersects at this point, this circle intersects at this point. So, we need to stretch horizontal stretch line from this So, now this line which is what intersecting to horizontal line by VSWR circle that is what we are stretching it to this scale where we can identify what is the value of VSWR. So, here we can see this line intersecting over here to VSWR scale to this first line that over here. So, this point gives idea about what is the value of VSW. Now, in this VSWR value that lies in between 10 to 20 and that is bisected by 5 points. So, after 1 point this scale is there. So, we can say value of VSWR that is 10 plus 1 point and each point is having value of 2. So, value of VSWR should be 12 approximately. And third scale that is this which is intersecting over here. So, this scale explains you value of reflection coefficient. So, that is there in between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 and that is again bisecting by 5 points and that that is there after second. So, it is there in between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So, after 2 point it is there. So, value of reflection coefficient is 0 0.8. 8.4. So, VSWR circle gives idea about what should be the value of VSWR and reflection coefficient for this transmission line. Now, to understand some other parameters, 
what we can do is we can calculate input impedance. Now in this problem it is given length of transmission line is 0 0.1 lambda. So let us first of all plot a line which is what exactly coming out from center to Z. So this line that is what coming out from center to Z. So now we can see this line is intersecting to angle over here. So what does that point indicates? This point indicates a value of reflection coefficient at Z. Now reflection coefficient that is magnitude of reflection coefficient into e raised to j psi where psi is what phase of reflection coefficient. So over here angle is in between 130 and 120. Angle is in between 130 and 120. So it is there after 120 we can say this is almost 126. So value of reflection coefficient is 0 0.84 and angle is e to the power j 126 degree. Now what does this point indicates? So this point indicates ZL is having a position that is there in between 0.07 and 0.08 lambda. So that is exactly in between 0.07 and 0.08. So we can say this point that is 0.075 lambda. Now how this point is useful? This point is useful to calculate what should be input impedance as it is given length of transmission line to be 0 0.1 lambda. So we need to go towards the generator to have a calculation of input impedance. So length is 0 0.1 lambda. So if we move 0 0.1 lambda towards the generator means in clockwise direction that point will result into the position where we can say input impedance is there. So 0 0.075 lambda plus 0 0.1. So that is 0 0.175 lambda. So we can see this is gradually increasing and over here this is 0 0.17 and 0 0.18. So in between these two a point which is what 0 0.175 lambda. Now from this point if we stretch a straight line to the center this line intersects VSWR circle over here. So this point is input impedance. So we are moving in clockwise direction by 0 0.1 lambda to have input impedance. Now what is the value of Z in? So value of Z in that is there in between 0 0.4 4 real and 0 0.2. So this is 0 0.4 real circle, this is 0 0.2 real circle and in between that this is 0 0.3 real circle and this point is there in between 0 0.4 and 0, 0 0.4 only. So that is there very nearer to 0 0.4. So we can say real part is 0 0.4 and imaginary circle that is in between 1.8 and 2.0. So that is there on 1.9 and these are positive imaginary circle. So Z in value will be J 1.9. So that is how we can solve what is the value of Z in by plotting that on Smith chart by moving 0 0.1 lambda towards the generator from the value of load. Now, what will be the value of reflection coefficient over here? So for that we need to see what is the angle. So at this point we can see angle is there in between 50 and 60. So that angle is almost 55. So if I say this angle that is having 55 degree. So reflection coefficient. So that is value 0 0.84 and 
angle that is j sin which is what 55 degree so 55 so magnitude of reflection coefficient is 0 0.84 and it is there at angle 55 degree so this is how we can solve the basic values which is there with reflection coefficient with respect to angle z in zl vswr reflection coefficient now what are the other things which we can understand so one more thing that we can understand which is what is the difference in between maxima to the input inputs so maxima that is apparted by this much amount of distance from input impedance and minima that is apparted by this much amount of distance with respect to input impedance. So we can say this distance is there from 0 0.18 to 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 minus 0 0.175 so that is what the gap which is there in between maxima to input impedance and 0 0.1 uh, that that gap will be let us solve that so distance this so that is actually 0 0.25 minus 0 0.175 so that is 0 0.075 so this is 0 0.075 lambda so that is a, a gap in between z min and sorry v max and z in input impedance and to have a distance in between z in and v min we need to take this complete circle so this is actually this is actually half of the circle which is what 0.25 plus 0 0.075 so that is So, 0 0.325 lambda that is the distance of z in with respect to v min. So, that is how we can calculate basic things of Smith chart. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if any query is there regarding Smith chart or, Smith chart or microwave, please ask your query. Definitely, I will try to solve out your problems. And in future, I will be going to explain so many other topics regarding microwave, smith charts and problems regarding microwave. Thank you so much for watching this video.